you're standing on the surface of the Earth. You flick a switch, and in a fraction of a second, a beam of light shoots out, racing away at an astounding speed. How fast, you ask? Well, that beam of light is zipping away at approximately 299,792 kilometers per second in a vacuum, to be precise. Now that's fast. This speed, my friends, is universally recognized as the upper limit, the fastest speed possible for any physical object or information in the universe. It's not just a number, but a fundamental constant of nature, symbolized by the letter C in scientific equations. This cosmic speed limit is so deeply woven into the fabric of our universe that it underpins the structure of our realities, from the way we perceive time and space to the very functioning of our GPS systems. So, why is it considered the ultimate speed limit? Well, according to Einstein's special theory of relativity, as an object accelerates closer to the speed of light, its mass increases. To push beyond this barrier would require infinite energy, which is practically impossible. But science is a field of endless possibilities and constant questioning. Our understanding of the universe is always evolving, so the question persists, what if there's something that can move faster? In this vast, mysterious cosmos, could there be phenomena that defy this universal speed limit? Could there be entities that laugh in the face of light saying, catch me if you can? We'll delve deeper into these intriguing possibilities in the coming scenes exploring some fascinating phenomena that might just challenge the reign of light speed. So if light is the fastest, what could possibly move faster? Stay tuned as we unravel this cosmic mystery. Quantum physics might hold an answer. Ever heard of quantum entanglement? Now, if you're scratching your head, don't worry, it's a bit of a head scratcher. Quantum entanglement is a peculiar phenomenon that occurs when pairs or groups of particles interact in ways such that the quantum state of each particle cannot be described independently of the state of the others even when the particles are separated by a large distance. Imagine two particles, let's call them Alice and Bob. If Alice and Bob become entangled, then whatever happens to Alice will immediately affect Bob, no matter how far apart they are. It's as if Alice and Bob have a secret communication line, and they can instantly share information faster than the speed of light. But here's where things get a bit tricky. Although it seems like information is being transmitted faster than light, it's important to note that there's no actual movement involved. The particles aren't sending signals or messages to each other. Instead, they're simply reflecting the same state instantaneously. It's like two mirrors that always show the same image, no matter how far apart they are. This phenomenon is counterintuitive and challenges our understanding of the universe. It seems to violate Einstein's theory of relativity, which states that nothing can travel faster than light. But quantum entanglement isn't about travel, in the traditional sense. It's about the instant connection between entangled particles, a connection that doesn't rely on the passage of time or space. So, while it may seem like quantum entanglement allows particles to break the speed of light, it's more accurate to say that it sidesteps the concept of speed altogether. It's a fascinating, mind-boggling aspect of quantum physics that continues to intrigue scientists and laymen alike. Intriguing, isn't it? But wait, there's more. Did you know our universe is expanding, and parts of it are moving faster than light? This isn't a plot twist from a science fiction novel, but a concept rooted in the realm of astrophysics, the theory of the expanding universe. Picture this. You're blowing up a balloon, but not just any balloon. This balloon is a symbol of our universe. As you blow air into it, the balloon expands. Now imagine tiny dots on the surface of the balloon representing galaxies. As the balloon expands, these dots move further apart from each other. That's a simple illustration of our expanding universe. But here's where it gets interesting. The galaxies aren't just moving apart. They're doing so at an accelerating rate. Faster and faster, this is due to a mysterious force we call dark energy. Dark energy is like the extra puff of air that keeps the balloon expanding, pushing galaxies farther apart. Now, coming to the speed of light part, it's a bit tricky. When we say parts of the universe are moving faster than light, we're not saying galaxies are zooming through space faster than a beam of light. The laws of physics as we understand them still hold firm. Instead, it is the space between galaxies that's expanding, causing them to recede from each other at speeds exceeding the speed of light. This fascinating phenomenon is known as cosmological inflation. So even as light from these galaxies travels towards us, the increasing gulf of space it has to cross, 
makes it seem as if they're moving away from us faster than the speed of light. It's like trying to cross a bridge that's lengthening faster than you can run. In conclusion, while nothing within the universe can move through space faster than light, the universe itself isn't bound by this rule. Its expansion can and does exceed this cosmic speed limit, creating a fascinating paradox that continues to intrigue scientists. So, the universe itself might be one of the things that break the light speed barrier. Now, let's dive into the realm of hypothetical particles. Meet the tachyons. In the vast universe of physics, where reality often seems stranger than fiction, tachyons stand out as the mavericks. They are hypothetical particles that, if they exist, always move faster than light. Yes, you heard it right. Faster than light. The universal speed limit set by none other than Albert Einstein himself. The concept of tachyons can be traced back to the special theory of relativity, which tells us that nothing can travel faster than light. But here's the twist. The theory also allows for the possibility of particles that are always superluminal, that is they always travel faster than light. And these are what we call tachyons. Now you might be thinking, how can something always move faster than light? That's where the weird and wonderful world of quantum mechanics comes in. According to Einstein's theory, as a particle with real mass accelerates to the speed of light, its energy and momentum increase without limit. But for tachyons, this process works in reverse. They start off superluminal and as they slow down, their energy and momentum increase without limit. This means that slowing a tachyon down to the speed of light would require infinite energy, which is simply impossible. And here's where it gets even more intriguing. Since they are faster than light, tachyons would have what we call imaginary mass. Now don't let the term imaginary mislead you. It doesn't mean that the mass of tachyons is just a figment of our imagination. Rather, it's a term borrowed from mathematics to describe a property that would be completely alien to our everyday experience. Furthermore, because they move faster than light, tachyons could potentially travel backward in time, according to some interpretations of relativity. Yes, we're talking about time travel. But before you get too excited, remember that tachyons are still very much hypothetical. While still hypothetical, tachyons sure do give our imagination a run. So, what's faster than the speed of light? We've journeyed through the realms of quantum entanglement, the expanding universe, and the elusive tachyons. We've seen the peculiarities and paradoxes that challenge our understanding of speed and light. Quantum entanglement, that curious dance of particles, seemingly defies the speed of light. Two entangled particles, no matter the distance between them, can interact instantaneously. It's as if they're two partners in a dance, moving in perfect harmony regardless of how far apart they are. But remember, this doesn't involve the transfer of physical matter or energy, so it doesn't technically break the speed of light barrier. Then we explored the expanding universe. When we look at distant galaxies, we see them moving away from us faster than light due to the universe's expansion. It's like we're on a cosmic treadmill, where the track is stretching out in front of us making galaxies appear to recede at superluminal speeds. But again, it's space itself that's expanding, not galaxies moving through space. So it's not a violation of the speed of light in the traditional sense. And finally, the hypothetical tachyons. These are particles that, in theory, always move faster than light, but they're still purely theoretical. If they do exist, they would open up a whole new realm of physics, possibly even allowing for time travel. But until we have concrete evidence of their existence, they remain a fascinating topic of speculation. Ultimately, while certain phenomena and theoretical particles might appear to break or bend the speed of light rule, the true nature of these phenomena still holds many mysteries. The quest to understand what can and can't surpass the speed of light continues, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the universe.